see the tables hanging off the deck. I'll show you how they're fixed on later. This is the bushy hydro approach. There's three tables there hanging off the deck and that's the height, walk under height of the high, bush, bushy hydro for an example. Small exemplar project just showing you quickly. This is it in operation. That's to protect some of the plants from the sun when the sun is in the middle of the day and it gets very very hot this is hanging off the deck as you can see the purpose of this is to provide salads and some tomatoes for us that's the tomato plant there uh, you've got several types here you've got an actual hydroponic system there and that's an auto pot system and the reservoir is there in a black container you've also got a standalone system there that I kicked up with some yogurt cans yogurt plastics um, containers with perlite in them holes in the bottom and just a couple of reservoirs I keep topped up next we have some tomatoes and underneath this we have our salads as you can see, it's just to keep them out of the sun and here we have cos lettuce, various herbs and spices and so forth. You'll notice also that I have several plastic bottles under there and that's another way of getting the water the power supply, sorry the water supply to them. The actual structure is to keep the possums and so forth off them, possums and bugs and grasshoppers. For little bugs, aphids and so forth, I use this, it's an Australian product, insect spray, beta bug, it's natural, garlic, chilli and pyrethrin from daisies so that you can spray it and eat it, it's, and eat, it's organic. One of the design features was that there would be no deck space taken up. As you can see, this is our deck. And you can also see that there's no deck space taken up by it. The reason that they're out here is partly to save space, but also to look up at the angle of the sun in the winter solstice, comes across and hits the deck just there. I can't show you too much because that's the sun there. Okay, so that's the bushy. We've had 40 individual salads from that over the past five months since I started this, and um, and it's proved most successful. An earlier one I did, there were bugs came and got it um, overnight. And two or three nights they were all gone. So I had to put the effort into a frame like this um, for them, and that's worked. How you measure the nutrient strength you take this, this is a nutrient wand, and you put it in your your um, nutrient container there and you just, the light goes on and it tells you what sort of strength you've got. And you can check the various systems like that. The actual system I'm showing you with the tomatoes and the salads, that's a, a soil based semi-hydro with 50% perlite and slow release fertilizers in it and it's watered by these systems of the plastic bottles and the water spikes as well as what we have here we have a tank and we have solar panels so that provides the watering and the power for the pump to drive the watering um, you can also see that I've reinforced the railing there and there and there so the railings have been reinforced the setup costs for all this was about three hundred dollars uh, including plants a fair bit of my time about another three hundred dollars worth of my time was needed um, but all in all it's been a very successful activity and I think that 
um, your degree, this is very handy to be able to walk out from our kitchen in the morning, from there, just walk out, boom, 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 about 10 steps, and harvest from your balcony um, fresh lettuce and so forth without taking up any space on your balcony. Yeah, that's the bushy hydro approach. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and please don't hesitate to get in touch with us, um, with myself. The website and my email are on, the, um, on this video clip and I look forward to hearing from you and I hope that this is some, some value all in all. Signing off. I'm in Australia and right now it's just going into October 2010. Okay.